It's your boy Poker Face from the IE, aka Versace Chris. Girl, don't ask me about my bank account. I don't ask you about your body count. This right here ain't hard to figure out. You see? Oh, crazy. Okay. Okay, there we go. There we go. I'm just going gang street. And here we go. Right? Nothing else in not, nothing else under my sleeve. Here is what I'm I was looking at. Okay, so we have the Beats Pro, Beats Studio Pro headset. Um, it comes in a nice little package. So it looks pretty durable. <laughs> so um, I don't think you know anything can happen to it in transit. That's for darn sure. So let's open it up, see what's going on. And of course, you know, poker face. Uh, Versace Chris, we got to have the black deal. So let's open it up. It's got a little ripper zipper right there. That's cool. Okay, so it's got the little Beats logo. Okay, comes in a little Beats box. What's, what's in here? Everybody knows I keep my boxes. Um, so when I you know, ever upgrade. And I know a lot of people with studios or whatnot that want my pieces. I go ahead and uh, and can get top dollar because all of my stuff is in pristine condition because I keep the boxes and I keep the packaging. Okay, I don't know what this is. Here's a product guide. So if you guys want the product guide, go ahead and uh, scan that right there. And you get the product guide, all the features and everything that's on it. We're basically looking at it from a superficial level. So we got the product guide here. We got beat stickers, you know, I guess kind of like a, how Apple has their stickers inside the box. We got the beat stickers. Um, just looks like one beat sticker right here. And this is a uh, free trial of Apple Music. So we got that, got the boxes, got that. Now let's see what's going on with this, okay? I love the case because I am always traveling, going to different studios, traveling the world, as you know, um, always in Europe, uh, always in somewhere tropical on vacation. And, you know, I like to write, do my, uh, do some pre things, you know, kind of like getting ideas, listening to the music, getting ideas, recording those ideas so you don't forget. Um, so I like to travel, good travel case. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, okay. So these are kind of cool. Okay, now the only thing about the package is like I have it completely open and it's like still kind of hard to get the damn thing out of there. So there we go. No, now here's the headset itself. We'll get into that. But inside this package, all right, inside this package we have um wire it says it's wireless but we have a long wire right here this is like an aux cord looks like um it must go into the the uh studio headset and into you know whatever uh console you have um i guess you could do it wireless as well so hopefully it's not a battery thing because the last Beat headphones I had had uh, batteries inside. And sometimes, you know, depending on how late the session was, I would leave those batteries on. Oh, these are nice. These are nice, okay? So let's get to uh, the actual Beat headphones themselves. Ooh, seems smells good. All right, so we have the, a nice little shape. And that's how... That's how it worked out quick. Let's do it again. <laughs> that was fun. All right. That easy, right? And it locks into place. So we have nice head. Let's see what. Okay. I can't. Okay. You know how like if you're super congested and your ears and nose are completely stuffed up and you can't and you can kind of hear your voice inside of your head but you can't hear it outside of your head that's the feeling i'm getting right now it's like i can only hear my inside voice even though it's on the outside i can just feel the vibration and hear inside 
unlike now. See, now I can hear my voice. So that's going to be, that's going to be tough, you know, because, you know, sometimes when you're singing as a singer, sometimes to hear yourself, you got to kind of get that ear out there. So you can, you know, when you're rapping, it don't matter. You know, you just do your thing. When I do my rapping, it's no problem. But when I'm doing my singing, sometimes I got to leave a free ear, you know, to, to make sure I'm hitting that tone, getting that, getting that note out I need. But this, I can't hear anything else in this room. I can't hear anything else. I can barely, I can only hear myself and that's in the inside. That's pretty cool. So when they say noise cancellation, this is top notch noise cancellation. So my last Beats headset had a battery port somewhere. And uh, man, like the oil from your fingers can really get on this. It looks kind of oily. I'm trying to see if there's a, oh, okay. Here's a button here. I don't know what that button is for as of yet. But it, it works, it's the only button that pushes down. The other, the other B Beats uh, logo on the side doesn't do that. So I don't know if that's, if I can push that down and, and get the battery, get to the battery. Because it has like two little notches here. A notch here and a notch here. And I don't know what those notches are for. There's no tool inside that would have me, that would prompt me to go into that. Um, is, is it rechargeable? Oh, almost forgot. There's another wire that's in here. I got, I got so caught up on that wire there. I forgot to tell you about this wire. Okay, so, so we have the, the aux cord to plug in and we got this wire. So what it looks like is I was looking for a place to take off because the, my last beats, uh, headset it has like a battery uh, compartment on the side and a battery compartment on the side you turn it and it comes open you replace the batteries i think this is now above and beyond that this looks like a charging port and it uses the same charging looks like uh uses the same charger as the uh the new mac pro macbook pro this USB-C charger. And you see it charges right here. You plug it into the wall, it charges up your headset. So there is no battery. So I'm glad I didn't start trying to force something or trying to pry those at those little notches right there because I just probably would have destroyed this thing or made it look really, really, really ugly, really, really, really fast. So I'm glad that uh, I didn't do that, didn't get too in in invasive and uh, looked, remember to look back in this thing to see what's going on. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to make another video on how they work, their functionality, and I'll be able to break all the way, that all the way down for you. Uh, as of right now, this is just an unboxing. So that's what the box looks like. That's what the case looks like. And I'm gonna put these to the test. Hey, did you think this was just an unboxing? No, it's also a review of the product. I spent a couple days with it just to see what the pros and cons were. And um, there's a lot more pros than there are of any cons on it. Uh, I love the color. We'll start with the pros first, of course. I love the color. I love uh, the way it's built, the way it's made. Uh, very ergonomic, fits on my head. Um, and I find I, I don't find a lot of headphones headsets that fit well. Uh, this absolutely does. I guess it could fit to slightly larger heads as well. Um, what I didn't know. Let me tell you about the things I didn't expect. Un, uh, you know the unexpected pros. This can work with your phone. So if you're in the gym and you want to uh, and you want to you know hook up to your phone, wherever you may put it in the gym and do your thing. As long as you don't mind sweating out there. See, that's something I wouldn't do. I wouldn't wear these because I'll sweat them out for one and two. I got to hear everything that's around me. So I usually go in the gym with one earbud, but, um, and having noise cancellation, you can't hear anything but the music, you know what I'm saying? 
But if you're from the hood, you know what I'm talking about. You don't want just people creeping up on you. So, um, but you can use it in the gym if you know, if you don't have any ops or anything like that, you good to go. You can go ahead and use this. Um, you can accept phone calls. So I, while I was testing it, I was testing it with the phone, call came through, I hit it, boom. Was able to talk on the phone. There's a microphone built in, so you could just have a conversation and do your thing. And when you're done, boop, you hit the button again, you're good to go. Um, so it hooked to the phone via Bluetooth, no problem. When they say wireless, wireless, right? Uh, another great thing is I haven't even charged these yet since I got, since I opened it, haven't charged them. So, and that's, it's been, been messing with them for about two or three days now. So they have an incredible battery life still. Uh, I think they're still at like 30 something percent and I got it right out of the box, out of the box. It was at 50%. So it's still at about 29, 30% right now after three days. So and, and, and a couple of times, and this is what really with my last Beats head, headset that had the batteries where you had to put the AAA batteries in. Some days after a long session, I'm just so, you know, ready to be done that when I'm done, oh, okay, cool. I hang the headset up. Next thing I know, I, didn't, I burnt up all my batteries because I didn't turn the little switch off. This will automatically shut off, which is a good pro. Um, next thing is when you push this button, and you turn it on. As I said, when you when you when you are um, when it, when the unit is off, let me push that button. There it goes. When it, you see a song, okay, because the lights light up. See, it'll even tell you how much uh, battery you have. It'll, it'll say two, three. I think it goes all the way up to five marks. I'm at two marks. Remember I told you. So I'm at uh, about thirty percent. So when they when they when you turn it on, then you have the ability to toggle the um, sound uh the noise cancellation so right now i can hear around me i can hear you know yeah i can hear just like i don't have headphones on like it's just like normal headset but when i push the button now i have the cancellation right so the noise the cancellation is there so that's awesome so you can toggle the cancellation so if you see you know your your girl is talking to you one of the homies is talking to you and you can't make out what they're saying you can push a button and boom then their voice comes in it's kind of crazy so that's technology for you right um so we covered the fact that you could use it for your phone um you can use it for your computer um uh, you know if you, uh, like i use a macbook pro um you can use it for your television you can use it for your gaming systems. Uh, you can use it for anything that is Bluetooth compatible. I've had some headsets where you can have to have like this little USB key looking thing that you have to plug into the unit. And then when you plug that into the unit, you get uh, the sound through whatever your headphones you have. This hooks directly to the unit. It's its own independent thing. And also, you can you can put it on Find My uh, Find My on your if you're a, a Apple user, you can put it on Find My and it'll find your headsets if they happen to walk away if you have a lot of clients in the studio, right? So glad I didn't make those ones I used in the studio uh, walk away because they would have found them. They've been in my door. So that's one. That, those are the great things about it: uh, um, the the look, the feel, the function, and let me tell you about the sound. The sound, such rich quality, makes you feel every note, makes you feel every tone. Um, I, that's what I was amazed with when I used them first in the studio, the other studio. I, I, when I put it on, just the sound. And, that's, and, 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 and as an artist, you hear that sound through there, it affects you here and then you can push it out there. So you can feel the, the instruments and they can feel the emotion that you're going to return because you're, you're, you're so going to deeply feel it. So love it. Now here's some of the cons. When I was in the studio and I used the, these for the first time when I became enamored with them, I don't remember them being wireless, right? So when I said, Hey, I need a pair of those, uh, at least one pair, of those uh, headsets that I used in that studio. 
And they were like, cool, cool, we're going to send them. And I was like, it was the uh, the Beats ones. They were like, yeah, yeah, cool. And I need them in black. Okay, cool. They were like, but you you, you mean the the, uh, the the pro ones, right? Yeah, the studio pros? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're wireless. I was like, wireless? I don't remember them being wireless. That, that kind of was stuck in my head. And, and you saw when I took it out the box earlier on this video that I was kind of shocked that they were wireless. But um because i don't recall that well the reason i don't recall that is they weren't wireless when you use them in the studio now for everything else you know the box says beats pro studio headphones so these what i would feel that's why i wouldn't use them in the gym even though you absolutely could I wouldn't use them in a the gym. I wouldn't use them for jogging or running or, or working out or anything like that. I wouldn't use them, um, you know, I'll probably use them like, you know, cause I'm on a plane a lot. I'm, I'm always traveling. So I would probably use them while traveling, you know, but other than traveling and in the studio, these are a no go as far as leaving the house. So I just, so the wireless aspect, I was like, Okay, I didn't expect that it can work on my phone, but that's awesome. I didn't expect that it can work on the television, the, the PlayStation 5, the uh, the Mac, the MacBook. Well, I expected to work on the MacBook Pro because that's what I'm using in the studio to record. So the biggest the biggest con to me, if you're a wireless headset, you want to be able to log into the studio recording softwares and that's when i discovered why they included this aux cord right so i was trying i was trying for a while to try to um, hook these headsets to the the studio recording software and it just it said this is not compatible this is not compatible this is not going to work so in frustration, I said, well, there was a cord in there and there's a, a little hookup right here for the cord on the side. And on my last beats, they were corded as well. So I put the cord that they provided in here and I put the other one into the Mac Pro. And at that point in time, I was able to hear everything that was going on in the recording. I was able to hear all the, the whole track. I was able to hear the instruments. I was able to even do like a little quick mix to see if you can mix with them. You absolutely can. Um, but when you're recording and you are in your Cubase, your Pro Tools, your Garage Bands, your Fruity Loops, um, your Acids, I mean, what else everybody uses? Um, you want, you have to be plugged in either into your MIDI gate you know your MIDI interface or directly into the unit okay if you're really you know uh garage banding it if you're really you know putting you know don't have a uh, a booth or or any of that nature so as you can see this cord is relatively short i'll say maybe maybe three feet so you can listen to a lot of things but i mean in a studio when you're on the console and the MIDI gate's right here, and your, uh, you know, the uh, the CPU, the 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 um, MacBook Pro is there, or CPU for you, you uh, PC users. This is all you got. If you're if you're if you're doing for you, I mean, I guess you could do it because you're doing your thing, microphone here, whatever, and then you're you know you're doing your thing. That's cool. That's workable. It's functional, right? But if you have, and like a lot of times I have other artists recording their vocals at my studio. So I don't want to be in front of the console, monitors and everything right here, keyboards, everything right here, the Mac, the console, I'm doing things. And I got a guy rapping right here over my shoulder, you know, like he's like rapping. I, I, I have, have I had to do that before? Absolutely. And it's not really ideal. Or you got your guy right here, you know, screaming his raps into your ear, right? So what I did is once I learned that I could not listen to the 
anything in any of my record uh, um, um, mu re music recording software, I went ahead and ordered a 20 foot aux cord. Okay. Now, depending on how big your space is, they have they have 50 foots, they have 100 foots. That would just be a little too much for me. But now I have a 30 foot cord that runs into the booth and into the headsets with enough play for, you know, sometimes people be doing a thing, you know, feeling their music when they getting down and you now, you know, have them the room and the freedom to do that with that much space. So you're using, you know, 15 feet to get to the booth and then they're using, you know, five, five feet or so in the booth from where the stand is, where they can hand it, uh, where they can uh, hang it up. So they can take it, microphones here. If they are doing too much spinning and dancing, then that's gonna be a problem. But if they're doing their thing and they're right here and they, they just bop into their thing and the microphone's right here and they're not going crazy all over the place and dancing and, and you know, acting crazy, then it's perfect. 20 feet is perfect. Um, maybe in the future, depending on, you know, once I run run the wires and everything too, through, if it's um, enough for me and, and other people to do their recordings comfortably, it's fine. If not, I'll just invest in a 30 or 50. But this right here, 20 feet should be definitely enough for, for my space that I, that I have the studio in. So that's your review on the new Beats. The new Beats um, uh, headset, they run about $189. Um, you, can, uh, you can find them on Amazon. You can find them uh, uh, through, of course, the Beats uh, uh, webpage. So I'm glad I can, you know, hook you up, get you right, get your gear updated, get your gear on point, And uh, I can't wait to hear your new music. Have a good one.